Today we're showing off the Petzl Sequoia SRT. It's an amazing harness that I've been privileged to be able to climb on. The difference between the Petzl Sequoia and the SRT version is the SRT version can run these top straps. Now the top straps are great because they keep the harness from riding down when you've got a saw on your hip, especially the bigger saws. The smaller, snaggier, sort of confined trees, I don't really run this top harness, and the harness can be run independently. You don't need the top to run the bottom. It's got great padding around the sides. The leg loops are really grippy. They seem hoisted in the right position, and it's super versatile because there's three different sizes, and it's adjustable in loads of multiple different places. You can adjust the leg loops, the leg tightness, the D height and the, the waist, as well as adjusting the top harness by pulling down on this and it hoists it up higher or you can slacken it off just as easy with your left hand. It's a great looking harness, also has a great feel. It's got loads of attachment points that you can clip things to. Loads of adjustability. The top strap doesn't impede on me at all. And this top SRT harness is hoisting up, not on my waistband, but on my legs, loading me in a natural position that's not putting any pressure on my body. It also has two bridges, and these can be taken on and off by a little Allen key here. You just have to be careful to make sure you put them on and shackle them on properly. It's a nice thick bridge, seems reinforced, and it's unlikely to wear fast. I've actually got two different sizes. I think they come in a small, medium, and large. So I've got the medium on the bottom that I use for my DRT. And then I've got a small on the top that I use for my single rope because it's closer to my body and it allows SRT to be easier and my neck tether to pull up harder so I get more height in each stride. Let's sit in the harness and I'll explain how it feels. Sitting in the harness feels nice, feels comfortable. It's loading my legs more than my hips, which I personally like. Then you don't get the strain on your lower back. Even with the chest harness on, you've got full range of motion to reach out with your silky and cut things. It's not impeding on you at all, and it's not rubbing. It's got a nice wide open gate. It's gripping me in all the right places, and because it's got all that adjustability, you can really fit it to your body. And a lot of harnesses go down from a minimum of 30 inches, so they just didn't fit right. Whereas this has a real good range, and they have overlapping ranges of waist height. So it's not, for example, 28 to 32, from 32 to 34, to 34 to 36. They overlap. So if you're kind of in between sizes, it will have a harness that fits you. But it's really comfortable. You can really swing round. And I'd be able to work in this all day. If I had to give a negative about it, it's not really the functionality of the harness. It's just that there's not replaceable parts. So if a leg loop goes, then that's the harness failed. That is an advantage that Tree Motion has. But Tree Motion leg loops seem to be on a single webbing and they tend to go a lot which might be a little bit of a money maker for them. They might do that on purpose, so you buy a leg loop after leg loop after leg loop, because they're about 105 quid for a new leg loop, where on this Petzl harness, they've really beefed it up. So unless you cut through it, then I don't think they're gonna wear naturally. But anyway, if you've got any questions about the harness, anything that you think I've missed, make sure you comment that down in the comment section below, and I'll make sure to get back to you. If you're interested in looking at the technical specifications or any other of the Petzl products, I'll leave a link to their website down in the description. And if you want to purchase one of these, head over to your local distributor or online, and I'm sure you'll find it there. Thanks again. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.